Hello everybody, this is Joey, and as we recall from the last video when I brought up a video game that I got in a haul and was testing it out, it was Mario Kart 64. And it does work. Um, if the video didn't make it clear from the first time around, I actually did play more of it off camera, and it works perfectly fine. I even tried 150cc, which I've almost never done before because that's usually the highest difficulty of a Mario Kart game. And, uh... I actually did pretty well with it. It was actually a lot more fun playing it that way that I've never played before because of just how the rest of the AI rubber decking, all that kind of stuff works. And it was just more fun with the um, with using items in a more competitive nature than I had normally done beforehand. So yeah, it works just fine. All the controls work out perfectly fine. Um, no errors that I've seen up to this point. Now, I am trying this again this same kind of open the package and then testing it out on, on camera. Because this one in particular, I've tried getting the game before, and even though it was marked with an untested condition, it did not work out well for me. So I'm like, you know what? This is worth trying it again for another copy of the game. I do know what's in here, but you are about to find out. Once again, a pickup from eBay that was rather cheap compared to other listings. And a game that I had wanted for quite some time. Probably not as long as Mario Kart 64, the original cartridge, but still something I was looking for. Uh, there's a little invoice with it. Thank you for your purchase. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, cool. That's that's about it. Ooh, nice little bubble wrap, too. The envelope wasn't bubble wrap. I'm perfectly fine with that. This one did have a little bit of a chip on the side of it for the case, but still holds together. Oh. Chip over there, yeah. <laughs> a little bit there. Yeah, it's it's a little rough, but I could always replace the jewel case itself and still keep all the other inserts and things. This is Tonka Space Station for the PlayStation 1. Now, I have a PlayStation 2 Slim that I'm going to be testing this out on, and this is a game that I technically already own from the PC. I don't have a PC right now that's working very well to play the older PC games, so... This is the little journey that I had for a while where I was trying to get different games that were available on PC. I originally grew up with them on PC, but were on other platforms and now playing them on those other platforms. So, you know, if I don't have a PC that would play them and run them, this is the next best thing. So I'm looking forward to this one. It's not really a game that I highly beloved. Oh, it's even worse than I thought. Yeah, that's going to be quickly replaced. Um, luckily it's pretty standard jewel case construction, but, um, this isn't a highly beloved game of mine, but this is something that I had thought about a few times and was like, you know what, maybe it'll be fun to play through again at some point, and even with a couple other th games in mind, I wanted to, uh, to run this again. So, gingerly, I'm gonna put this back in and we'll, uh, we'll test it out. All right. Just got the CD in, and power is on. It's a PlayStation 1 game, and I currently have the first controller as PlayStation 2, but I think it should still work. Okay, read the disc pretty quickly. Yeah, there, there we go. We're getting there. Okay, opening animations. Is there a skip button? I think I might have to watch through them. Again, I'll probably have to test more of this off-frame and uh, update in the comments or next video or so. Because last one, I think I only got the disc. I didn't even have the uh, manual and such. Yeah, there's no skip button on here. Maybe now? There we go. Okay. So far, so good. 
Uh, arcade? I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> we'll just go right in, make sure everything works. Yep, skip. <laughs> At least it reads fine. The CD, you know, read pretty quickly. Even though I had to skip over a couple of things in the beginning. Alright. I don't even care if it's not doing well. I'm just making sure that I can actually press all the buttons. For a second, I thought it was going the wrong way. Aren't I supposed to fire at these things? Or maybe I'm thinking of a different mission. I I remember some of this game. Not not every aspect of it. But. Maybe it's just a dodging mission. I also think it's fun picking up different copies of these things because maybe there's something that the that the PC game doesn't offer that this does or vice versa. So it's fun to see that if there's any differences. Yeah, I know I died. And yeah, I know it's not showing showing the full screen. Nope, oh, finally loaded. Okay, so I can use directional buttons. Oh, so there's like, oh, that's what that button does. Interesting. Don't know how much I'll need that. Still not sure about that whole shielding thing. The controller keeps vibrating, which I guess is, uh, neat to see. Really? Really? Two of them in a row? Alright. Yeah, the, <laughs> the game looks pretty dated. Alright, how else am I supposed to go through that? Oh, 
I was right there. I was actually closer to it there than any other point. Alright. Well, it's reading. Buttons do work with it. I think that's still an improvement from the last time that I recall uh, trying to get this game running on the PlayStation. It's just a matter of getting good. That's something I'll have to do later and obviously we'll be off camera until it's on camera again. So, I'll uh, talk to you later. Glad it works. Wait, I can't save it on there? Oh, because it's a PlayStation 2 memory card. So that's a save on this one. Yep. Cool. Alright, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.